live from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Child Racing 2018 brings you week 18 of America's hottest racing program. And here's the man who will fill up a hot spirit for all, the host of Child Racing 2018, Mr. Brandon Shannings. Hello, Wyoming. It's so nice to see all of you. I made for another side edition. Yes, we are. And how do you guys home? Welcome to Week 18's action here on Jerry Sing 2018. We got an awesome event of schedule of races for you, and it should be a crowd race for all. So, Paul, let's get started with race number one of the men's version play. Alright, first up today, we have two time world champion Jason Hill taking on the Hong Chang Master Efron Kingsley, the AC Gambler Tyler Fultz, and Zach Arson. As always, our races will be held on email course, and there's the lineup for our first race of the afternoon. So let's head down to the field and wish the first group of participants best of luck for their season. Let's have a job race! <coughs> Alright, one away with our first race of the men's division player week 18. And it looks like number two is good to rest, so he'll be left behind in the competition for a while. The four superstars are making their way through the meal path, and now they're approaching the palm trees. Well, they will bring down that coconut chief foot. And it looks like Zach Arson is going to have a command on the lead, following a close second by Efron Kingsley. And it looks like Zach Arson is going to rest. As Tyler Falls, who is dancing to the beat back in the palm trees, takes the first opening toss of Week 18 here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, the capital of the state of Wyoming. And right now it looks like Efron Kingsley is doing his best. Trying to stay alive over at the bridges. He's making his way towards the bridges part of the Adamus course portion of the Emma course. And who got spew as number two? It's number eight. Who is battling with Jason Hill for sixth place at the game one. Now he will have to push the battle with Tom Folks. And right now number one is getting left behind over at the bridges here in the Amphis portion of the Emma course. But it's Tom Folks who will get his second speed bump for the race. He currently sits in four place behind number seven. By now, it is Zach Arson who leads over the Hard Chain Master Efron Kingsley, who is battling with number seven. But Efron Kingsley is back way catch jump to him in the early. We pass the one minute mark in this race, and who will get the next command of speed bus? As Zach and Efron head for the Sapphire portion of the other course. <coughs> It's number seven who will get the next command for us, and he dominates over the five, four, seven, Chow. Oh, and down he goes along with Tyler Folds. They went down for the cap for sure. Poor number one still really needs some help, and he will get some help. He gets the next command for us, but he's still way behind in the competition. Oh, and down goes Jason here, and that's going to cost him his damage. Meanwhile, Zack and Efron continue bound for the lead, with Tyler Folds decided to join him for the line. What's going to happen? Next, Pierce walks to Jason Hill, who won two titles in 2014 and 2015. And he's with us. That means number one will have to prove a battle with him for D-Life all the way in the back. As he approached the wall, climbing on a might. And who got the next one? Another speed bus by the AC Gamble Tile Force. Now I'll try to make a freeway battle for the lead with Zach Arson and Efron Kingsley. These three shall make it towards the movie portion, of course, also known as the home stretch. And it looks like by about a foot or two, it looks like Efron Kingsley will defend the lead over Zach Arson and Tyler Fultz. <clears throat> so number one will get the next command speed and it looks like Zach Arson and Tyler Fultz won't have enough distance to catch jump to the hard chain master Efron Kingsley in time. There you have it, folks. Efron Kingsley is our winner. As number two, welcome to the next command speed who fighting for D-Life all the way in the back. So Efron Kingsley beats on Zach Arson, who comes in second place, and Tyler Fultz, who comes in third place behind Zach Arson. Another fine, fine, well done by the Hard Chain Master Efron Kingsley himself. And it looks like number two will get back to back speed to close out the winning race in week 18. He really needed some help, and he got it. And number one is going to miss. So, so Efron Kingsley gets another easy victory. That's right, everyone's doing another round of Hard Chain Master this afternoon. And we'll be right back with the second race after we hear one from this. And now it's time for race number two. 
Race number two will feature the Jersey Devil John Stevenson, Derek to play, Kenny Days, one half of the Days Promise, and JJ Nehemiah, who did very well in last week's tag team race to give Howard Jones his first victory of the season. Let's see if JJ can do it again this week. Go on to the next four superstars and please start the race! Here we go! Let's see what happens here. JJ Nehemiah won last week's tag team play. Will he do it again this week for individual play? We'll find out soon enough. And it looks like number seven and eight are both going to mess. Try to get some attention here. The fans are showing bundle up in warm jackets and coats. Even mittens and hats too. Anyway, the four child are going to eat the fruit. And it looks like JJ Nemo is going to have command to leave. Following the cross second by the Joe's there with John Stevenson. And they're to play in third place. And it looks like JJ Nemo is going to be heading for the water. As the first superstar against Beepus is... Number 8, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. That was a good speed bus right now. I do believe he got all of it on that one, trying to stay alive for sure. And right now, JJ Nemo and John Stevenson are both heading to the other side of the water. And JJ Nemo has got the rest. As the JJ Nemo, John Stevenson leaves JJ Nemo and does with speed bus number 2 in his face. Now he will have a little bit more room ahead of JJ Nemo after JJ went to the rest. And take a look at point number one. He tossed for one, and he will have the next command speed as trying to stay alive at the time for one more one. Now he's battling the win number eight from Survivor all the way in the back. Meanwhile, up in the front, John Stevenson has a commanding lead over JJ Nima at the current moment. <coughs> but JJ Nima can still make a comeback here. Will he? will find out soon enough. Who got the next speed bus? It is number two. Who's trying desperately to get back in this one. Now he will have to push power number seven for the win, but the force of a chow <coughs> in the back. And number eight taunts for one. Bosses for one. <coughs> As the next PS we made by Kenny Nays, one half of the day's purpose. Trying to catch up in Harry. And John Stevenson is the first to approach the wall. With JJ Nehemiah soon to fall. Who is gonna win this one? We'll find out soon enough in the only one. Next PS belongs to Derek the Play, who is right on their tail, trying to stay alive in the game as well. Point number one and point number eight, meanwhile, both doing years of help. Who is going to get this famous? It's number one who gets it. That means number eight will be left behind and then me all the way in the back. Back up in front, JJ Nima has regained control of the lead over the Judge Nimble John Tearson. Now he'll have to push the battle with John Tearson for the second time in his face. And JJ Nima is heading for the home stretch. The movie portion of the game, of course. As the player gets to number 10, that makes his second speed burst to the base, but I think he is going to wind up in third place. Yep, JJ Neymar should have this base all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. He is going to be John Stevenson to the goal line. As number 8 takes his second speed burst, still trying to stay alive. Now we have number win for JJ Neymar over the Jersey Devil John Stevenson. Two wins in the ball for JJ Neymar. After an impressive week 17's tag team win, he's done again for week 18. Derek the Play will come in third, and Kane Days will come in fourth place. <clears throat> Alright, JJ Nima is back in the hunt. Let's, let's hope for the very best, yeah? He might wait, make the, the cut for 2019 season roster. We'll soon know. Back for another side race after this. Alright, Paul, time for race number three. Race number three will feature Aaron's Fabulous Warriors, Steve Wigman from New York and the Irish. The license to drive, Alvin Yusinia from the Steel Drive, Frank Fanatal, and representing one half of the classic go getters, the next generation superstar, Antonio Bennett. Go on to the next four superstars on our quest for victory, and let's rock this place! Alright, the fans are electrified, the staff is winning their approval from the fans, and we're off and running. Who is going to get a W this week after these four suffered a tough loss last week's tag team play? We'll find out in just a matter of months. Right now, the four are going to eat the food, and it looks like Steve Wingman is going to have a command on the lead. Antonio Bennett and Frank Van Tower will be battling for second place behind Steve Wingman. And it looks like Steve Wingman is going to be heading for the water. 
That's the first superstar I guess speed first is Frank Valentine, who passes from one, but now he recatches up to the next series superstar Antonio Bennett up on the bridges. And right now number one seven eight are getting left behind the competition. Number one is Fantasy One, and so is number eight. That means number seven will be fighting all alone in the back for the bridges. Now number seven has a lot of catching up to do in the early one. As Frank Fanataro opens this one up with back to back speed bus. Now catching up to Ari Senior of the Steel Drive. By right now it is Iron Fabulous Warrior Steve Wingman who has a commanding lead over his opponents. And we're approaching the one minute mark in his face. Steve Wingman doing a pretty good job trying to make the 2019 playoffs at the end of the season. And who will get the next guy uh, speed bus? It's number one who's trying desperately to get back in this one. Right now, number seven and eight are both battling for a drive. They're both getting left behind on the competition. They're getting left behind the competition for sure. Who will get the next command speed bus? It's going to be in the license to drive. Out here, senior. And we'll get that. Antonio Bennett is going to us. That means out here, senior will move on to third place. But it will be a miracle to catch up to Iron Man as well as Steve Wingman. Frank Wattertown trying his best to stay alive. We'll soon know what happens in the early one. As they make their way towards the wall. Next PS Box 2, the next generation superstar, Antonio Bennett. After waking up for a snap, it looks like poor number 7 and poor number 8 will really need his help. But I think they're going to hit, hit the wall first. And number 7 talks one way. Yep, they're both hitting the wall, folks. No help for either number 7 or number 8. They're going to be battling for D-Life. And who got the next one it is number one who dominates over the force of a chow and he can't forget about going rest. He is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Stealing man is gone at a home stretch, and no one is going to catch up to us by this one stealing man of the luck in the Irish. As number one takes back to X Beamers. Tell him what up for us by this one stealing man. He joined me very much shot and happy and his fans as well. Four and number seven and four and number eight are getting left behind like always. As the race comes to a close. Alright, Steve Wingman has done again. He is now at 12 and 7 after 19 races. That's right, coming up we get more as I ask for you, but first I will look at this. Okay then, welcome back to our show. Now it's time for race number four. Paul, who do we have next? Well, Brandon, race number four will feature their success to Jeff Nellis taking on Chris Fanarcos, Max Dwight Sandsburg, and the Capilla Wizard Peter Foles. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, let's have a challenge! Alright, there goes the next four superstars busting down the line. We always start by heading into the palm trees, where they bring down our coconut shaped fruit. Here comes the trees, they're shaking like crazy. And there goes the coconut shaped fruit touching the ground. And now they're going to eat the fruit and jump now as it's going to try to get some attention. And there goes Chris Minocles. He is going to have command on the lead up in front. <coughs> where will Chris Minocles be heading? It looks like he's going to be heading for the water. As Jeff Norris, the success student of Chow Racing 2018, wakes up for a snap and gets the opening toss for this race. Take a look at poor number 7. He is getting left behind on the competition. All the way in the back going on in the race. He's going to take the water as Beavis number 2 will be made by Max Sandsburg. Who's trying to catch up over the bridges. And it looks like Chris Minocles is going to that means Peter Foles will have the privilege to battle him up and we are in the very front. As the next BMS we made by... Number 2! Who's trying to catch up to number 7 for the lead of the 4 to the Take a look at poor number 1 and poor number 8. They're both battling for D-Life all the way in the back. <coughs> we passed the 1 minute mark. And who will get the next command BMS? Another speed bus by Max Lex Sandsburg, currently standing in third place behind his success to Jeff Nellis. Right now it is Chris Minocles, who's entering the Sapphire portion of the VM course, who is leading by a short distance over the success to Jeff Nellis. 
Max Oxygen Fuck also bad we catch up to him in Howie. As number one, who is fighting for two life all the way in the back, takes the next command SPS. I think he needs a lot more help than that, don't you? <clears throat> Meanwhile, Chris Minocos and Jeff Nellis are approaching the wall, and down goes Max Luxan Swift for the count. Who is gonna prepare when we get to the goal line? We'll find out soon enough. Back to number one, and now he passes number eight for D Life all the way in the back. And back up in front of the top of the hill, top of the wall, Chris Fennell goes and Jeff Nellis are bowing for the lead, heading past the waterfall. And another speed bus by Max Life Sandsburg, that makes his first speed bus the race, but I highly doubt he'll make a meal to come back behind Jeff Nellis and Chris Fennell Jeff Nellis and Chris Fennell are entering the movie portion of the air course, otherwise known as the home stretch. And it looks like Chris Fennell might have the advantage, yeah? As number two takes the next command speed bus. <coughs> And Max Max says, but Miyoko coming has fall short. Chris Monaco is going to hold on for an amazing victory over Max Max Hansbuck and Jeff Nellis. As number one takes the first viewers on this race, Chris Monaco holds on Max Max Hansbuck and Jeff Nellis to secure the victory. One of the other by Chris Monaco. He won last week's side team and he done it again for week 18. Number eight has no hope for surviving whatsoever. So Chris Monogos gets another easy victory. That's not you showing me how he injury you happy today. Let's see you have some day you want. Back in a bit, do not go away. Alright then. Who do we have next, Paul? Race number five will feature Joe Raffery, the fastest runner of the 48 men, Aura Jones. And tag team teammates Bobby K and Kyle Richman. Everyone on this group got a win last week in tag team play, but only one of them will keep up with a streak in individual play this week. Let's see who will get that win this week. Please start the race. All right, there goes Joe Raffley for see on the line, and number one is going to so He will be left behind the ground, and so is number eight. And our Jones is taking his news as well. Right now, Joe Raffery is going to eat the fruit. And it looks like he's going to be dancing to the beat for a while. The other two chow are making their way towards the palm trees. And it looks like Bobby K is dancing to the beat. There goes Joe Raffery. There goes Kyle Richman. Who is going to have the other hand? Maybe Joe Raffery is going to have the other hand for the moment. And who's going to get the other one toss? It's our Jones, who was satisfied with his win last week. But I highly doubt he'll make it all the way to us in the league this week. Right now, number seven was going to rest. So now he'll drop down to last place over the eight child right now. And let's find out who will get Spears number two in this race. And Spears number two in this race, as number seven has for the water, will be made by number two, who is battling with numbers one and eight, and Arma Jones over at the bridges. Right now, Joe Raffway is leaning over Kyle Leachman. One half of tag team teammates in this race. And they're making their way towards the top of the, up top of the hill. And it's number seven who will get the next command speed rest. Trying to lead over the four to the jump and Oliver Jones in fourth place. Oliver Jones is getting left behind Oliver number one. But number eight is the real deal. As we pass the one minute mark, who is way behind in the competition in last place. Who got the next command speed rest? It's Oliver Jones that makes his second speed bus of the race. Meanwhile, Joe Raffley has a commanding lead over Kyle Richman. Come on, he is expected to take, hit the wall to cry him up with all his might. And this time, Oliver Jones goes for a consecutive. But I highly doubt he'll make it all the way to, left, to the first place. Poor number eight, meanwhile, still really needs some help. And down he goes for the count. Now, some cross this down. I think he needs a lot of speed bars, but it's number two who leads over the fourth to a chow with, with, with his second speed bars of the race. Joe Raffley has a commanding lead, while teammates Bobby K and Kyle Richman are fighting for second place at the current moment. As Kyle Richman gets a turn now, trying to battle with Bobby K up in the front, but I don't think either one of the teammates will be able to catch up to Joe Raffley. Looks like Joe Matthews is going to have this race all wrapped up. This will be his ninth win of the season after 19 races. As Armin Jones gets a 4 speed bus on this race. 
Let's see what I'm going to win. Joe Raffrey, yep, he has his face all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. As all of Joe's six back to back spears, now I have another win for Joe Raffrey. That's nine wins for Joe Raffrey in 19 races. Trying to make a comeback so that he can qualify for the 2019 playoffs at the end of the year. And who got the next speedruns? It's number seven who got it. That makes his second speedruns of the race. And here he goes with numbers one and eight left right behind fighting for d -line. And we have just enough time for one more speedruns of this race. And it will be made by number two who can say farewell, so long, see you later, to the episode show. That makes his final speedruns of the race. And John Raffrey gets only you know, easy midway. That's why he's trying to get back up to the 500 mark. Let's hope for the very best, and we'll have more saying action after this, so don't go away! We're almost halfway through the Men's Division play. Right now, let's present race number 6 on the Men's Division play. That's right, and for race number 6, we have Adrian Legetta, Fred Henderson from the Dazzling Aces, Daniel Heen, the Iowa Heen Senior's younger brother from Steel Drive, and Glenn Murray who is one half of our defending tag team champions and is the defending fair place finals in the original moment play. Let's see what happens here. Everyone is on the clock and let's rock this place! Alright, so Glenn Miller currently sits at 11 and 7 heading into this week's race. Trying to get another one closer towards another shot at his world championship title for 2019. And number two is Squidward. So he'll be left behind in the competition for a while. <clears throat> and it looks like Adrian Legenda is going to have command on the lead. The L3 channel are dancing to the beam. So Adrian Legenda is going to have the upper hand for a while. As Graham Murray wins the winning toss this time around. Right now a couple of silver channel are getting left behind in the competition. It looks like numbers two and eight as a matter of fact. Some channel are heading for the Wana. And it looks like number eight is going to rest as he's better taking measures. That means he's going to be left behind in the competition for a while. <coughs> as Spear is number two in his face, wait me by number one. Who's trying to number two in the bridges? And look at this! Greg Miller has took a shortcut after the other game. Adrian and Jenna, the upper hand early on in the race. Greg Miller took a shortcut, and I do believe he's going to be a number one crosser. Towards his redemption this year for 2019. Good job by Grand Murray so far. Who got the next speedrun? It's number two, who desperately needs to catch up Murray now and then. <clears throat> but right now, as we pass the one minute mark, Guess was really way behind in the competition, heading towards the top of the hill. It's number eight, that's two. Number two seems like he also really needs some help every now and then. But the next speedrun is going to be made by. A wing of Jetta at the middle of the pack. He is catching out to both Fred Henderson and Daniel here who are battling for second place. Right now though, it is Grand Murray who's dominating after taking a shortcut. I think he is gonna get an easy victory no matter what. And he's gonna so let's head to over to number one, who now dominates over the front four of a chow with four place. Poor number eight, meanwhile, still really near some help. And he will get some help. Finally, he got his beamers, but he's still way behind, just behind number two. Meanwhile, back up in front, Grand Murray is first, is the first to approach on stretch. With no points to worry about, by the way, looks at it. I do believe Grand Murray is going to get another easy red ring. Next best belongs to Daniel Heenan. That may, and that's a speed rest by Daniel Heenan. But this race is all about Grand Murray as he moves one step closer towards another shot at his title. As Fred Henderson and Dazzling Aces take the next command speed rest, you can tell me one off for Grand Murray. He may be today's and proud today. Now he has one win closer towards his redemption. He is now at 12 and 7 after 19 races, and his fans mean it. And who will get the last speed rest on this race? It's going to be Daniel here who gets it. That makes sense. I can speak about this on the race. A little disappointed with four points. And number eight can just forget about this race. So Glenn Murray is now at 12 and 7. That's why he's still doing a pretty good job trying to get his redemption this year. We'll be right back with the second half of the Momentum of Richard Maces after we hear what from this. All 
Alrighty then, second half of week 18's men's division play. Race number 7 will feature last year's runner up, Al Miller from the Miller Traders. He'll be taking on Corey Sanchester, the Gun Star Master Gary Dayton, and Rusty It's the Jackinson from the Go Getters 2.0 squad. Best one to the next four players and please start the race! Okay, we're now in the second half of week 18's Action 20 message to play. And like we always say, anything can happen in a child racing universe. That's what the fans and staff mean each and every race of the 2018 season and every season you are in child racing. Fans are showing sure bundle up for this exciting, exciting race. And right now on the floor, a child is going to eat the fruit. And there goes Gary Dayton along with Rusty Instantly Big Jacketon. These two will be bowing for the lead up in the front. How Miller and Corey Sanchester decide to dance to the beat. And right now it looks like Rusty Jacketon pauses for one. As How Miller, who quickly wakes up for a snap, takes the only toss from the space to start the second half. And right now numbers one and two are getting left behind in the competition in the back. And number two is going to rest. That means number one will leave number two in the dust for a while. And number one is going to be heading for the water trying to maintain some ground. As Speedbus number two in this race will be made by number seven who is battling with number eight over at the bridges. And look who took a shortcut. Look who wants to stay alive to come back next season. Yep, it's Corey Sanchester who has took a shortcut in this race. <coughs> Now he has a lead over Hal Miller at the current moment. As number two, who desperately needs to catch up very now and then, takes the next command spears. We're approaching the one minute mark. Hal Miller currently sits in an easy second place ahead of Rusty Jenkinson, but he might need a meal go if he wants to catch up to our current leader Corey Sanchester in a hurry. He's trying his best to stay alive. He doesn't want to have his redemption chances ruined by Corey Sanchester this week. Well, anyway, who will get the next command spears? It's number eight, who is battling with number two for two life on the way in the back. Right now, Corey Sanchez is making his way towards the top of the wall. <clears throat> with no opponents to worry about for the current moment. He's making his way towards the waterfall. As must see instant we pick Jackie Ten. Takes the next command spears, trying to battle with Garrett Dayton or Ann Howell Miller for second place. Poor number eight is way behind, but number two is the real deal who really needs help. Will we get an SP bus? Looks like he will be just before he touches the ball. So that makes his second SP bus in the race. Now he is fine with number eight for the second time in this race to stay alive. Meanwhile, Corey Sanchester has his race all wrapped up heading into the home stretch. No one's going to catch up to Corey Sanchester in a hurry. Corey Sanchester wins a bar butter. As Rusty Jackson gets another turn. That makes it second speed was the race, but he spent the one in third place behind Howard Miller. And number eight is going to rest all the way in the back. Just as he approaches the home stretch. So he's going to be left behind in the competition, finding number one and two. Well, he's going to get speed runs, and that is going to do it for this race. You got all of it on that one, but he's still in last place. Alright, so Corey Sanchester is still trying his best to stay alive in the rankings. That's right. We'll be right back for another side of action after this. The fun is just heating up. Do not go away. And now, Paul, I think we should simply allow race number eight while I get myself a hot cocoa. That's why a hot cocoa is a good way to warm up on a, on a cold day. And especially for our child racing fan, fans out there. But anyway, race number eight will feature Christian Isle of the Classic Ogas, John Miller of the Dazzling Aces, Ralph Dennis and 2018 Crafts Rookie Chip Subay. Everyone is on the clock and bundle up, please. Please start the race! Okay then, let's see what happens this one. Who is going to stay warm and dry, or hot and dry, for this cold weather here in China, Wyoming this week? We'll find out soon enough as the four child make their way through the rainbow path and into the palm trees. They're going to bring down their coconut cheek fruit while the fans watching with and rooting on their favorite superstars with all their might. And now the four child are going to eat the fruit. And there goes Ralph Dennis. He is going to have come in the lead with Chris Schneider right on his tail in second place. And where will these two be heading? It looks like they're both heading for the water, trying to maintain the ground. And look at that! Ralph Dennis paid off his shortcut strategy! 
One of the old by Ralph Dennis. As the first superstar against Big Bus is Norma A, who is fighting the same Iron Warrior Avengers. Ralph Dennis had enough flying power to make the shortcut over the top of the hill. So now he has a commanding lead over his boss right now. Number one, meanwhile, is heading for the water, trying to get back in this one. As Chip Subay, one of the rookie senior class rookies of 2018, takes B as number two in this face. But it's Ralph Dennis with that shortcut who dominates over the four superstars of the camera. He is safely in the lead with no force to worry about as he makes his way towards the wall. As we head back into Chip Subay, he is now catching up to John Miller, the dozen aces for a fair place to the camera. By now it is Christian Lano who sits in an easy second place. Poor number seven is getting left behind the competition. And number one passes for one. So now he will be left behind as well. Which one of these two will get the next command speed runners? It has to be one of them for sure. And it's gonna be number seven who gets it. So he will be number one in the dust for a while. Meanwhile, Ralph Dennis is safely climbing up the wall. And Christian Lano sits in an easy second place with chips of bait, but we got jumped to him in a hurry. I think Ralph Dennis is going to earn another easy victory, by the way, looks like, yep. Next BS belongs to number one. He was way behind for a while, but look at that. Now he's going to have to push the battle with number eight for sixth place. Now it's number seven who's getting left behind on the competition. Looks like he is going to hit the wall first before the next BS, yep. So who's going to get the next command's BS? It is going to be Chip Subway. That makes his best people of the base. And look at that. He makes a pass from Christian Allen because Christian Allen is going to rest. So now Chip Subway will have command in second place. But this race is all about Ralph Dennis as he makes his way towards the finish line. Ralph Dennis wins this one by a lot of moving spare. As the next people is going to be by John Miller and the Dazzling Aces. Let's see. Who I think it's going to win in four place. One of them going Yep. And my right now numbers one and seven are going to rest. So these two John gonna be left hot in the competition. So now number seven will drop down to second place for the second time in this race, and we have just enough time for one more speed bus on this race, and we may buy number one who leads pouring number seven in us. That makes it second speed bus on the race, and that's it for this race. So with a number five trucker cut strategy, Ralph Dennis gets to win. That's why right, still a ways to go before he can make come back next season, but I'm sure he's doing pretty well. And we we'll have another sign race to Joshua Ben, but first let's see a word from this. Alright, I had a great hot cocoa and now I'm warm and bundle up. Now let's continue with race number nine. You said it, Brandon. Race number nine will feature Dave Miller on the Miller Trainers, Casey Raymondson, Nick Gimmick, and Ricky Nelson on the Go-Gas 2.0 squad. See, I told you hot cocoa would warm me up. That was a good beverage indeed. Now, let's get down to business. Who is going to have the lucky death for race number nine on week 18? We're about to find out right now. Let's have a challenge! <coughs> okay, there goes Dave, Casey, Nick, and Ricky. Busting down the main path. Trying to impress the audience here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And fans throughout the entire track as well. And it was like number two pauses for a moment, trying to think of something. something. <clears throat> anyway, the four child are going to eat the food, and it looks like Dave Miller is going to have a command and a lead. Nick Gimmick and Casey Raymond will be battling along with number eight and number one for second place. And it looks like Dave Miller is going to be heading for the water. And so is Nick Gimmick, by the way, looks at it, as the first superstar against Beepus is number eight. Who leaves poor Casey Wilson in the dust and he's gonna rest. And so is number one. He's also gonna rest. And number two is getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back. Both he and number one really need some help right away. I think this next speaker should decide one of those two. Yep. And it's going to be number two, who we get speeders, number two of this phase. So now he will have to push about with number one for survival. <clears throat> Up in the front, at the top of the hill, we got Dave Miller, Nick Gimmick, and Vicky Nelson, the go goes 2.0. All battling for the lead as they enter the sapphire portion of the Emerald Course. We have passed the one minute mark, and who got the next command speeders? It's number seven, who is catching up to number eight for the lead over the four of Chow in the back. Right now, it is numbers one and two who are really battling for D-Life. They don't want to get left behind on the competition for sure. 
But the next B mask is going to be made by Casey Greenwasson, who just went to West. So now he will have a lot of country up to all the way in back. Meanwhile, in the front, Dave Miller is trying to hold off Nick Gimmick and Mickey Nelson, who are now waiting for second place in the Cowboy. Which one is Chad will merge between us when he gets to the whole stretch? We'll find out in just a matter of moments. Back to Casey Wilson. Now he is trying to catch up to the other child in the heli. Poor number one and poor number two. Meanwhile, back in the back. Still, we will need some help. And I mean now. I think it's going to be number one. Well, number one pauses for one. Yep, number one got it. He was pausing for one. So now he gets the command of speed bus. And back with front. Dave Miller is having some company. Ricky Nelson and Nick Gimmick are battling for second place. And Casey Williams has decided to join along. What's going to happen? Well, anyway, number eight. Well, the next game is just trying to catch up to number seven again. And right now, it looks like Dave Miller is going to hold on to the lead ahead of Nick Gimmick and Ricky Nelson. So, Dave Miller is going to improve to 10 and 9 at the 19 races. He's going to be above 500 this week. As Casey Williamson takes his first speed bus, it looks like Dave is going to hold on Nick Gimmick and Mickey Nelson to secure the victory. He's now 10-9 this week. Numbers 1 and 2 have no hope for surviving whatsoever. And Dave is now about 500 again. That's why he's doing pretty well, trying to get another chance for a playoff run. Back in a bit, do not go away. And we're back with more Joe Racing 2018 here in China, Wyoming. Who do we have for race number 10, Paul? Race number 10 will feature Ram Marchante from the Lucky the Irish, Michael Creighton, Vince Dyson, one half of our defending tag team champions, and Luke Green. <coughs> Congratulations to Vince Dyson and Luke Green for winning last week's tag team races. That's how one of them will do it again this week. So it's best of luck to the next four players. And please start the race! And Ram Marchante is for us. That means Michael Clayton, Vince Dyson, and Luke Green will have the opening edge. So we'll find out which one of them will pay off or not in the only one. <coughs> right now, these three channels are going to make their way towards the palm trees to bring down their coconut tree fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes Ben Stason and Luke Green. These two will be bounding for the up in front. Who will have the upper hand? We'll find out soon enough. As the first superstar to get speed is Michael Creighton. And look at that. Luke Green is going to rest, so Michael Creighton will move up to second place. And right now, one of the silver challenge is also going to rest. Number seven, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> so number seven will be in dead meat all the way in the back. As number one, who is fighting over the bridges, takes Beavis number two in this face. And right now it is Vince Stason who has a commanding lead over my Queen at the curve moment. And who got the next one? It is number seven, not two. Trying desperately to stay alive in the game. Right now, though, it is number two, who is way behind on the competition, all the way in the back of the pack. <coughs> Number two is getting left behind in the competition. But we passed the one minute mark. Who got the next one? It is Van Juan Chante out to luck in the Irish. Trying that's way to get back to this one. Meanwhile, Vince Dyson showing has a good time having the lead over Michael Granger at the current moment. He is making his way towards the sapphire portion of the Emma course. Michael Granger trying to hurry up. As number two, who is fighting for the D life all alone last place, takes the next command speed Michael Quinton trying to make a statement in the only one. Will Michael Quinton pay off his Miyoko comeback, or will Vince Dyson hold on for the victory? We'll find out soon enough. As Michael Quinton quickly makes it to the top of the wall. Next speed belongs to number seven, that makes the second speed of the race. Poor number two, meanwhile, still really needs some help. He's trying to get the speed up before he hits the wall, but I'm afraid he is going to hit the wall first. So the next speed bus is going to be made by Ram Chante, making his second speed bus in the race. Curry sitting in fourth place, and right now it is Ben Dyson who is at the home stretch. I think by a few feet, he is going to hold off Michael Granger for any easy victory. 
so he's gonna get another win, trying to stay alive for a 2019 roster cut. Anyway, number two, welcome to the next command. Yes, Vince Dyson had to face all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Vince Dyson holds out Michael Clayton for an event to it. Vince Dyson has done the right thing, and thus, he has secured a win this week. As Luke Green, a little disappointed with third place, will get the last B bus. And number seven can just forget about this race all the way back. So, Vince Dyson, Mania Impossible. That's why congratulations to Vince Dyson on another amazing victory. And some more something coming out after we hear a word from this. Alright, we're getting closer to this week's main event here in China and Wyoming. That's right. In the next segment, we'll all find out if Buster John will pay off his swimming bill when he wants again. But for this race, race number 11, we have Raymond Hill, who currently has the best record at 12 and 6. <clears throat> Heading into this race, he'll be taking on defending world champion Donald Reddings, Gary Coles, and the 2016 Rising Stars champion, Joshua Samoa. Best of to these four players, and let's rock this place! Okay, so while we prepare for an exciting main event coming up in the next segment, these four chat will do battle in this race. The fans are bundled up for another exciting race, and they can feel the electrifying heat in this race. Right now, the four inch are going to shake the palm trees, and now they're going to eat the fruit. And it looks like we might know what Joshua Samuel is to me. And look at that! Donald Mannings will have full control of this match for the moment. Donald is going to have the upper hand of the four chow. And it looks like he is going to be heading for the water, trying to maintain a huge lead. <coughs> As the first superstar gets beat, this is number eight. And, that, and he got all of it on that one. Good speed up to start things off. And number one is with us. He's going to take the water, trying to get back in this one. <coughs> And who's going to get speed bus number two? It's going to be Gary Coles who gets speed bus number two. And look at that. Joshua Samuel is going to rest, so he'll drop down a couple of places. Right now it is Donald Reddings who has a commanding lead over Maymont Hill by a short distance. Donald and Maymont are making their way towards the sapphire portion. And who will get the next one? It's the 2016 Rising Stars Champion, Joshua Samuel. As we pass the one minute mark, trying to stay off balance so that he won't fall all top of the bottom of the hill. And he maintains balance one free. Right now, poor number one is getting left behind the competition. But number eight in the back is the real deal, who is way, way behind. Which one of them is going to get some help? It's going to be number eight, who desperately get near to catch up to do. But who will get the next command because Meanwhile, Raymond Hill is battling with... Donald Reddings in a fight for survival as they make their way towards the wall. They're climbing the wall on the line. And Gary Coles with another speed bus. That makes his second speed bus base. Now he's trying to catch up to both Raymond Hill and Donald Reddings. And so is the 2016 Vice Lords champion, Joshua Samoy. Poor number eight, meanwhile, is still way behind in the competition. And this time, Gary Coles scores one consecutive. And look at that. He doesn't need to go to rest. He keeps on going, and so is Joshua Samuel. So now Gary Coles and Joshua Samuel will have to push a battle for the lead up in the front. At the main one here, and Dom Reigns went to rest. Oh yeah, on. Next piece belongs to number two, who dominates over the four to a challenge in fifth place. And main one here, and Dom Reigns both went a little too far. That means Joshua Samuel is going to have a little bit of room to run more ahead on the competition. As main one here takes the next beamers. Neither one of his boys is going to catch up to Joshua Samuel in time. The 2016 White Cross Champion Joshua Samuel is our winner. My goodness, what an ending. Joshua Samuel made me impossible. That's right. Truly an anything can happen moment here in Challenge 2018. And we'll see in the main room have the same thing right after we hear one from this. Alright fans, now it's main event time here in China and Wyoming. And Paul, I know you're electrified with all that hot cocoa you drank. That's right, hot cocoa is a good beverage in the winter. 
and intro music. Now, for this week's main event, for week 18, we have our returning champion, Buster the Jumbo, the fastest swimmer on 40, man, taking on Big Cherry County Days of Days Boys, Carl Tanner, and the son of the Lexus Drive, Al Heen Jr. This week's main event is presented by Folgers, where the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. And there's a look at the lineup for this race. We wish Buster the Jumbo and his three opponents best of luck in this week's main event, presented by Folgers Coffee. Here we go, are the fans ready? Well, everyone's on the clock, and let's have a challenge! Alright, so, in our last individual main event back in week 15, Buster Java managed to pay off his million ability to get his best superstar week on us. Will he do it again this week for week 18 here in Trying Wyoming? There's only one way to find out, as the four superstars make their way towards the palm trees, to bring down that coconut shing fruit, and now they're going to eat the fruit, and there goes Buster the Java busting down the line. And look at that! The fast swimmer of the nation has the upper hand because the other three chow are dancing to the beat. And who will get the first opening toss of this week's main event presented by Fortress Coffee? It's Carl Tanner who gets it. Now catching up to Big Cherry Tommy and Days Boss, but there goes Buster the Java. He is swimming like crazy all the way in the water. Quickly making it to the other side. And he was blessed, but he will still have a dominating effort at the current moment. As Beavers number two of this race, we may buy Big Cherry Tommy Days. But I think some child had to go shortcut, yep. I think it's out here, Junior, and number one. Yep, out here, Junior, and number one have both taken a shortcut. Out here, Junior currently has the lead over number one by a short distance. Both of these Chow are making their way towards the sapphire portion of the game, of course, but keep an eye out for Buster Chow's swimming ability that's coming up at a whole stretch. But right now, let's find out who will get the next capacity as a that next PS we may buy, Carl Tanner. That makes his second speed burst to the base, and Tommy Day's passes from one. Meanwhile, numbers 2, 7, and 8 in the back are getting left behind in the competition. They're bowing for dear life all the way in the back. We passed the one minute mark at this base, and who will get the next command for us? It's back to, to to Tommy Days. That makes his second speed burst base. Currently, Carl Tanner and Tommy Days are alternating speed us right now. Meanwhile, up in the very front, Alien Jr. is trying to defend the lead over number one. With all his points, that we can't jump to him in a hurry. Who is going to prepare when he gets the home stretch? Who is going to be this week's superstar of the week? We'll find out soon. Enough. Next PS belongs to number two, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. And now when he and Junior back in the front, it's for us. That means number one is going to have a command lead. And Tommy Days will have the privilege to battle with him for the next best standing in second place. And let's find out who will get the next one. It is going to be Buster the Jumbo! And he should have plenty of time to make the pass at the home stretch. Yep, there goes number one, Big Cherry Tommy Days, Ali and Junior, and there goes Buster the Jumbo swimming like crazy. He is going to be in the Superstar Week for the second straight individual week. As number two takes next to my making his second experience race, Buster the Jumbo makes it two in a row for his Superstar of the Week honors. He'll be back in week 19 to try and make it three in a row. But this week, he can celebrate over Ali and Junior, who comes in second place, and number one who dominated over the fourth of the child will come in third place. And it was a big Johnny Tower Days, we're going to return, and that makes his first people as race, but there's always the next time for big Johnny Tower Days. Number seven, can't just forget about this race, he's singing the last place we was all the way in back. Number eight, Sengangi also has no hope for surviving whatsoever, as the main event presented by Fortress Coffee is over. So, Buster and Java, we'll see you guys next week, and we'll see you for new Women's Vision. Right, Brandon? Right. The Women's Vision makes us up next, but first, let's hear a word from Ness. <laughs> 